we really have to get a, a different color background because I think my skin is literally blending into the wall here. Uh, so anyways, we'll just we'll think about that for later. All right, let's get started. You good to go? I'm good to go. Here we go. Ask Yuri. You've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. Hey guys, Yuri came. How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking about estrogenic foods. I was recently asked a question by one of our followers on the Facebook page asking me, Yuri, which foods contain the highest amounts of estrogen? Well, very good question. And the short answer is that most foods contain higher amounts of estrogen than they need to. Here's the reason why. If we look at animal produce first, or I don't even know if animal produce is a word, but animal products, meat, dairy, eggs, and so forth, it all comes down to how the animals are fed themselves. So if we're looking at beef and cattle, are the, are the, are the cows being pumped with antibiotics, with hormones that have residues that mimic estrogen, okay? So estrogen um, is, is problematic because in the human body, estrogen promotes growth and it's linked to the growth of cancerous tumors. So that's why, you know, estrogen dominance is becoming a more and more of a concern nowadays because we're seeing a lot more breast cancer and ovarian cancer and stuff like that, which is related to having higher levels of estrogen in your body. And this is happening in both men and women, okay? Uh, men, if you went to do your, if you go to do a blood test to your doctor for estrogen levels, I guarantee your estrogen levels will be much higher than they're supposed to be in relation to testosterone. Why is this happening? Well, mainly because of the foods that we're eating, and that's the main source of excess estrogens that are coming into our body. So, for instance, with, with animal products, if animals are first of all being fed antibiotics or they're injected with hormones or other types of residues that mimic estrogen. So a lot of these, the, the breakdown products of these, of these different compounds have a very similar chemical structure to estrogen. That's why in the body, they are known as xenoestrogens or, or fake estrogens. And they become very problematic because they, they, they increase the estrogen load in your body. It increases the level or it increases the demand on your liver to metabolize it all and it obviously increases your blood levels of estrogen, which becomes problematic for a lot of different conditions. So, uh, the other thing is that even if the cattle, even if the cows, the sheep, the goats, whatever, you know, whatever you're consuming, even if those animals are, are, are being uh, grass-fed or grain-fed or, or however they're eating, you have to understand, you have to ask the question, well, is their feed, where's their feed coming from? Has it been pesticided or is it organic feed? Because if it's been exposed to pesticides, pesticides are a very, very serious form of xenoestrogens. So even if you're eating uh, plant-based foods, even if you're eating fruits and vegetables that are not organic, you're consuming pesticides, herbicides, fungicides that at their, at their base molecular structure have a very similar uh, layout or, or, or molecular structure as estrogen. And that's why it's becoming more and more of a problem in today's world. So obviously the basic rules of thumb, eat organic whenever you, whenever you possibly can. With respect to animal products, uh, go with grass-fed, organic, free run, all of that good stuff uh, as, much, as much as you possibly can because remember you are what you eat. So if, you're, if the cows are eating that stuff, you're gonna be consuming that as well. If you're eating fruits and vegetables that have been sprayed, you're gonna be consuming those sprays as well. So uh, So there you go. Other things to consider are plastic water bottles. So if you're buying bottled water that's been, you know, those kind of really crumply plastics, uh, if those plastics are being heated, like let's say they're sitting outside in the sun, the sun is going to, uh, it's going to heat the plastic, which is then going to leach chemicals, including xenoestrogens, into your water. Other forms are basically just municipal drinking water because birth controls and other medications are being flushed on the drain nowadays and down the toilet, those recirculate and make their way back into the bloodstream and obviously you can increase your estrogen levels. So really we're bombarded by a lot of different sources of xenoestrogens and uh, that's why it's becoming more and more of a problem and especially for women who suffer from estrogen dominance. So PMS symptoms, uh, very heavy menopausal symptoms, those are all related to uh, to this, this kind of same ball of wax. And it ultimately comes down to what's happening internally. If your liver is bombarded by all this stuff, all, let's just say these xenoestrogens, in addition to toxins, in addition to poor food choices, 
it's gonna have a very, very tough time to metabolize these hormones and to regulate things properly. So you really wanna look at balancing things out and looking at cleaning your body out uh, just by doing a regular food-based cleanse. Okay, so just by cleansing it in and of itself, by choosing better foods, avoiding the, the, the wrong foods, uh, you'll do your body a world of, of good by allowing it to, to metabolize all this stuff and work a lot more efficiently. Um, if you want more uh, help with cleansing, you can check out our Total Wellness Cleanse program, which is at the totalwellnesscleanse.com. And um, otherwise, hopefully this video has helped you out. Hopefully it's uh, enlightened you and opened your eyes to some of the stuff that's out there with respect to estrogens. And um, that's it for today. Hopefully I've answered your question, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.